What's up everybody? So we're starting this new series where I'm going to be sharing some of my healthy and tasty meals with you guys. A lot of people showed interest in the last ADCC vlog video where I was showing some of my meals. So I'm going to start incorporating this new series where after or before my training, I'm going to share some of my meals. And if you stick around at the end of the video, you'll get a highlight of some of my rounds. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get to a nice healthy steak dinner. All right, we're working into some sweet potatoes. So I've eaten a lot of sweet potatoes because I'm actually pre-diabetic. So I gotta try to keep the carbs low on the glycemic index. And I've been trying to bulk, so I got to eat as much carbs as I can while not messing too much with my blood sugar levels. So sweet potatoes are great, a really good healthy carb. Um, I've been doing these, these sweet potatoes that you can get from like the Korean market. They are purple on the inside. They're delicious and these are just traditional sweet potatoes. I like to mix them. So we'll get those chopped up and we'll get them prepped in the air fryer. All right, so I'm aiming for 120 grams worth of carbs today to meet my macro goal. So um, about 600 grams of sweet potato because it's about 20 grams um, or 20 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So we should be good with this. I'm going to get these thrown in the air fryer. So um, I got the air fryer preheated. Um, so what I honestly do is I just open the air fryer, toss them in, kind of give them a little mix. There. All right, so I'm putting the sweet potatoes in at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. So we're about five minutes in. I like to shake them every five minutes. Just take them out, give them a little toss. And then while those are cooking in there, we're gonna turn our attention to the steaks. So we're doing a leaner cut of meat tonight since it's the, the weekend, or it's the week weekday. Typically do like a ribeye on the weekend, but we're doing some beef tenderloin tonight. Look at that big old chunk of beef tenderloin. That's a huge piece of meat. Um, I got one for, for Jazz, one for me. Um, I'm gonna actually dry these. I'm gonna pat these dry. I'm gonna get a um, paper towel and just kind of like pat them dry just because I find that um, when I use the oil in the pan, water doesn't really like to mix with oil too well. So any moisture you have will actually cause like them to separate and you won't get like as good of a crust, at least is what I find. So um, I, I don't really like to have them too damp. So I just pat them dry just a little bit just to make sure that there's not too much moisture on them. And then I'm gonna use garlic salt tonight, nothing fancy. So I'm just gonna season, lightly season the top on both steaks. Now I'm gonna do something that I really like to do, I think works well, is press the seasoning into the steak. Um, this kind of helps it stick to the steak a little bit better. I'll put a little bit more on top, just cause I like my meat pretty salty. Um, and then just again, press it into the steak. I find that this really helps with the seasoning sticking to the steak and getting that nice crust so that the crust doesn't necessarily fall off when you flip them. So I really like to kind of press that in. If I'm not able to dry brine my steaks, this is like the thing that I want to do. So I normally I'd probably dry brine, but um, today I didn't quite have as much time on my hands. So I just kind of just got these out of the fridge. Just gonna kind of pat them down, press that seasoning into them. And I'm gonna get my pan pretty hot. I like to have my, hand, my pan on high for a few minutes to let it heat up real hot before I even set the steaks in. Get a sip on one of these while the, the pan's heating up. Um, these are honestly like my favorite sodas. They're delicious. They come in all different flavors. Um, they're pretty low calorie, only 50 calories per can. Um, but they're probiotic, so they have like uh, fiber, and um, I think they have like so it says probiotics, biotechnicals, and plant fiber. So they're just good for your digestive system, really, um, and they just taste really good. All right, so we got our steaks uh, seasoned up. We got the pan nice and hot. Um, something I like to do. Because I don't like to use too much olive oil, more than I have to. Instead of coating the whole pan, like swashing it around, just dipping, I just put a little bit. So I'll get the steak that I want, and I'll just put like a little bit of olive oil, just where I'm putting the steak down, and I'll just set it, and kind of swirl it around like that. So that gives me like a good 
um, little serving of olive oil, but not too much, just enough to get that good crust. Um, our pan is gonna start to smoke because the oil is gonna be burning. So I'll turn this pan on and look at kind of like the smoke hold out. But I'm gonna get the other steak in the pan and then while those steaks cook, while those steaks cook, we're gonna go over and we're gonna actually, we should be ready to put some olive oil on these here. So I'm gonna take them out, dress them in a little bit of olive oil. Nothing too crazy, because I'm not trying to go overboard on the fat. It's such a nice dinner. Just kind of toss them, get them mixed around. And I'm gonna put some salt on those, nothing crazy. Because after we, um, after we salt these, I'm actually gonna kind of put some sauce on them and put them in the pan which will really help kind of season them up, so not a whole lot of salt, just enough olive oil to get them a little bit crispy, and then we'll put them in the pan. Okay, now, when flipping our steaks, do not use metal cookware on your non-stick pans. These pans, these are all clad pans, they're like my favorite pans. Um, you guys can do what you want, but I would buy all clad if I were you guys. They're great, they last a long time. Um, but don't use metal cookware. So when I flip them, I typically just will really use my hands on a thick steak like this. Just grab the sides and flip it. You can also use a fork stabbing the top and flipping it. Um, or you can get like a metal or a wooden spatula like this, not a metal one. Um, the only downside with like the spatula, if you scoop underneath it, sometimes you like damage that crust. So I like to just go like this. Just take my hand and just kind of grab the meat and flip it. Get it right back there. And then now you see that nice crust and that sizzle right on top. Looks delicious. I'm gonna let this one go for a little bit longer because it's much more of a thick boy. Um, but that one should be cooked a little bit faster. Yeah, they're looking pretty fire. All right, I'm gonna get this pan heating up. I'm gonna put it on high just to get some of this oil melted down. We cooked some ground beef earlier for lunch in this pan. So I like to save the drippings. That way, save on olive oil. You can just use that. Um, and it also just adds extra flavor. So we're gonna get our sweet potatoes that are done. We're gonna get them in that pan once that pan heats up and we'll get those cooking. All right, so our potatoes are getting a little bit gold in there, kind of what we want. We don't want them like completely done because we are gonna cook them in this pan a little bit. That pan's starting to smoke, so I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. I have it on high. Um, it's down medium, high, three quarters ish. So these are going in the pan. Gotta get all of them. All my macros. <laughs> um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do with these, I'm just gonna kind of give them a little bit of toss, just kind of get some of that oil off the pan, and we're gonna douse these in some flavoring. All right, so two of my favorite things to put on sweet potatoes lately have been this Japanese barbecue sauce. Um, macros are on it are like okay, so don't put a ton, but um, Worcestershire sauce, or however you say it. You know, no one knows, but this stuff is great on there because it really helps give it a good caramelization. Um, these steaks should be done, so I'm just going to set them off to the side, turn the pan off, and then uh, I'm going to let those rest in just a second. I'm going to take them and put them on the cutting board, but for right now, I'm going to get these potatoes going. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this, a few tablespoons, just kind of go up and down them. And then now I'm going to make sure to toss those before that sauce burns off. So I'm going to get them coated here. Lost one or two there. Um, five second rule. <laughs> okay, now for the W sauce here. That you can put a little bit more. Um, so that stuff also burns off. So you need to toss them right away. All right, so now that those are coated, I'm gonna put a little bit more salt on those. And I'm gonna add some chopped onions as well. We like to prep our onions in these little plastic baggies. Just makes it easy for cooking, adds some extra flavor. So I'm just gonna put a handful or two on some just typical white onion. Um, give it another little toss. If you really want to go the extra step, you can add more of this olive oil and um, that obviously is gonna enhance a little bit more flavor. Um, but I'm trying to keep the fast a little bit lower, like I was saying. During the week, I try to keep the fast a little bit lower. On the weekend, I give myself a little bit of some leniency. But uh, yeah, so those are gonna start crisping up. The steaks are ready to take off. So I'm gonna move these over to the cutting board. 
And now guys, I can't stress enough, whenever you take your steak off the grill or off the pan, do not cut your steak right away. Let it rest, let it rest, you know, five, six minutes, nothing crazy. So that will kind of give us perfect time to cook up these sweet potatoes, because once the sweet potatoes are done, steak will be ready to cut, cut into and see if it's done to your liking. Okay, those are kind of coming together. I'm gonna add some chopped green beans. So just kind of add a little bit of fiber, some extra crunch to it too. This is not a lot of green beans. Um, I had a lot more vegetables at lunch today. Not a huge vegetable fan, but I don't mind it. This guy's like this. So those don't need to really cook all the way. I'll just kind of let them warm up practically. It just adds like a little nice crunch. Um, these are basically done. So I'm just gonna let them go for a little bit longer just to kind of like get those green beans warm. I'm gonna turn the pan off and just kind of let them sit in the pan and our steak is ready to plate. So I'm gonna cut her steak for her. Um, I don't like cutting my steak because I like to cut it myself when I'm eating it. But um, let's see how it's cooked. Looks pretty good to me. It's like a perfect medium rare. Looks delicious. This beef tenderloin is fire too. We've been getting beef tenderloin from H Mart. It's like a Asian market here in uh, Austin, and you can get three pounds of it for less than thirty dollars. So we've been doing that. It's a great way to save on some like high quality meat. Um, it's really really good, and you can't go wrong with beef tenderloin. It's super tender, um, not a lot of fat, like I said, so it's good for during the week. Now time for the main event of the evening, uh, the Ninja Creamy. So if you guys haven't heard of these, I'm sure you have, it's taken the internet um, by storm really. Um, they're, you can make really healthy protein ice cream with them. So I have some low fat Greek yogurt. It's like 18 grams per half cup. So I'll do like two cups of that just to help meet my protein goal at the end of the day. And um, what I put in this one is I put some uh, stevia to sweeten it. And then I just put some cacao powder which is pretty low calorie and helps it like taste like chocolate. So um, these are great. You just freeze them for however long you want. Like I try to freeze mine only for a few hours. That way it's a little bit more creamy, but put it in the Ninja Creamy, just kind of all clicks together. If you can get it, this thing always eludes me how it goes together. Got it together. <laughs> All right, now then you just put it here, turn it on, and then you have different options. I just put on the light ice cream mode. Spin it up and let's go. All right, so that's dinner for tonight, guys. Gonna crush the steak and those potatoes. Finish off my electrolytes. Drink this delicious soda. Refill my gallon of water to get nice and hydrated. Remember guys, hydration is not only water, but also the electrolytes. So make sure you guys hit those electrolytes. I'll put my link to, I guess not my link, but I'll put my promo code right down below on the screen. To Ath Organic, they have some great electrolytes that have zero sugar. Everything's organic too. And then we got our protein ice cream to finish off the day. So thanks guys, and let's roll the highlights for the training. Thanks for sticking around. Close guard!
Back step. Woo! <laughs> oh, two minutes. <laughs> You're an asshole, are you? William Meow. William Meow. Great run. That was a good run.